last time on Yakuza Zero. Remember when I just told you, Kiryu-san? Keep Magura focused on you while I examine all the video cassettes. There's no way this is gonna work. He's sure to notice. You can do it, Kiryu-san. You're a man with the balls to do this. And Marisa gets men by their balls. That made no sense. But before I can run to that radio show, I need to come up with a good pen name. What should it be? Kazuma Kiryu Judgment Kazi. <laughs> I heart Nishiki. Oh my goodness. I want to use this one. Hmm. This is tough. I bet Nishiki would be good at coming up with something snappy sounding. Nishikiyama. Nishiki. Maybe just... I heart Nishiki? Wait, what? I, I think I just creeped myself out. I need a different approach. Aw, uh, what? I can't do I heart Nishiki? Fine, we'll do Judgment Kazi. <laughs> M mistress I would like to be with today. <laughs> I bet you'd like that, you pervert. I... Uh, I'm sorry. What am I doing with my life? This time, on Yakuza Zero. Hey everyone, Firestorm Gaming here, back with another episode of Yakuza Zero. Uh, right now we're gonna continue doing the Pleasure King uh, business side. So yeah, we're gonna keep going until this is 100%. So yeah, let's keep on going. What the? Um, excuse me, please, I need help. Hmm? A drunk pervert is harassing my friend. Please, please come help her. Uh... Okay, let's help, I guess. Alright. Where is she? Th thank you. Over here. Quick. Her name is Sketchy Young Woman. I don't, I don't believe her. She m Oh my gosh. They're just through here. Hmm, this seems sus. And this drunk's all alone? Does he have any friends? And she's gone. Hmm? Where'd she go? Uh-oh, this seems like a... Nani? What the? Is it... What's going on here? Nice dodge. Not bad for a crappy Yakuza. I was told there'd be a drunk pervert. <laughs> You're too gullible, butthole. <laughs> Figures. So, that girl's your accomplice. What do you want from me? I just have a small favor to ask. Mm hmm? Do society a favor and die! Um, what the? Okay, wait, that guy just appeared out of nowhere. Who is who does this guy think he is? Come on, man with an iron pipe. Come on, rush down, bam! Stomp! There you go. What did you think would happen, bro? Ugh. Ugh. Please, don't kill me. You set up an ambush and then you beg for mercy? Not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? Let's see your face. Yeah. Just a kid? So, what's your story? Did someone pay you to kill me? N no, it isn't like that. What is it? Uh? Then why'd you target me? You and the Dojima family payroll? The Dojima family? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know any Dojima family. I didn't care who it was as long as it was a Yakuza. It didn't even have to be you. Nani? What? <sighs> I hate Yakuza. It'd be a better world if they all die. <laughs> People who are fond of the Yakuza are re pretty rare. But I'd say it's even rare to find a nut job willing to jump people in the back alley for no darn reason. How old are you? I'm 16. Mm. High school then. Screw high school. I'm in a biker gang. <laughs> <laughs> so you're some biker gang grunt. Huh? What makes you think I'm a grunt? Yeah. Right. What's your name? Tanaka. Shinji Tanaka. Shinji Tanaka. And what's your deal? What family are you with? 
I'm a civilian, not a Yakuza. Yeah, right. It's actually true, man. I'll ask one more time, Shinji. Nobody put you up to this. Oh, that's right. And why'd you do it? The Yakuza destroyed my family. My old man ran into cash full of trouble flipping real estate. The Yakuza sharks smelled blood in the water and they took everything. My mom was smart. She ran at the first sign of trouble. Those buttholes came and beat on my old man every day. Then, the old man would beat on me. Because he could. <sighs> but that stopped once I hit him back. Now he sits around hugging a bottle. Makes me want to put him out of his misery. I couldn't stand being around him so I hit the streets. And you thought mugging Yakuza was the answer. If I'm gonna steal to live, Yakuza are totally fair game. They're all thieves anyway. And they've got reputations to uphold. They can't go crying to the cops to get their butts kicked. Uh, you're walking a fine line. If they catch you, they'll kill you without a second thought. <laughs> it's fine. The only ones who know I'm doing this are my bike gang. Guys I can trust. Hope this works out for you. Hey, where do you think you're going? What? You need me to listen to more of your life story? As long as you're not answering to a higher power, I'm done with you. But since you're letting me speak my mind, quit this Yakuza hunting thing while you're ahead. You're only still alive through dumb luck. When they catch you, and they will, they'll pay you back tenfold. Whatever. I haven't met a Yakuza as tough as you yet. As long as they're alone, they go down like chumps. I enjoy listening to them beg for mercy. That said, when you kick my butt, I seriously thought I was dead. Fine. You do what you want. I'm not gonna argue about it with a grown man. Hmm. Mm, that kid's gonna be dead sooner or later. But I did what I could. I've got my own problems right now. Now, if you guys didn't know, we're probably gonna be seeing that kid more in Yakuza Kiwami because uh, he actually shows up. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see him very soon. Ba, ba, ba. Uh... What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm? Wait, you're kidding, right? Come on, tell me you're kidding. Uh -huh. Oh, come on, just tell me. What are they talking about? Oh my gosh! It's like you and I watch news from different planets, I swear. Okay, I'll take pity on you. Prepare to be enlightened. The pop star prince is coming here, Takamurocho! No way! You mean Miracle Johnson? None other. It's unbelievable, yet 100% true. He's coming to Takamurocho to shoot a new music video. Whoa! Miracle what now? Get this. He's supposedly in Japan already. Word on the street is that there's been some kind of problem though. Doesn't matter, I'll get Miracle's autograph no matter what. I want to see him too. I hope they solve the problem so they can start filming soon. That's why I've been hanging out here and keeping my eyes open. Some of the production staff could already be nearby. I guess some global star named Miracle is here. And his crew's run into some kind of problem. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Oi, what the? Oh hey, isn't this... Oh, Kiryu-chan, ciao! Hmm? Hey, it's been a while. Are you still making shows that bring hopes and dreams to people's lives? <laughs> oh ho ho! It's Kato! Easy for you to say, big Mr. Producer. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got a chance here to drive viewers bananas. Not just in Japan, but all over the world. How do you figure? You're a real producer after all, Kitty chan The chance to whip the whole world into a frenzy got your attention? You know I'm just an amateur, but okay, I'm willing to listen to your fairy tale. What's going to drive the world crazy? Yeah. The crazy thing is, it's no fairy tale at all. Daddy. What? <laughs> is this enough for a hint of you? Uh. Whoa! Yeah. What was that all about? Uh. Kiryu-chan, don't tell me you don't know who Miracle Johnson is. Miracle Johnson? Oh, I get it now. I just heard about him. He's some kind of singer, right? Seriously? Kiryu, baby, 
Are you telling me you hadn't heard of the pasta prince until today? He's world famous! Famous to the world, maybe. But this is Kamurocho, Japan. Why should that matter? Kamurocho was part of the world. Fine, fine. It's not important, Seslavi. Basically, Miracle is in Japan to shoot his new music video. But, and this is strictly hush hush, there's been a little problem uh, holding up the El Shuto. You catch my drift? Yeah, you're saying that there's a problem. Uh. Yeah, and I'm convinced that there's only one man capable of solving that problem. That's you, Kiryu chan. I've been looking for you everywhere. I can't go into details because it's a top secret mission, but will you help? Let's set the world ablaze, you and me! Uh, sure, I guess. Fine. Let's hear it. Whoa. Now you're talking. That's what makes you an ace producer. So, what's the problem? It's the superstar himself, actually. Miracle's refusing to perform until his demands are met. Or we're at a standstill. What? Is the guy being a diva? Not really, no. He's just really insistent on doing the music video exactly right. And he won't compromise. What's this music video about? <sighs> to be honest, I don't really get it. Apparently, it involves Miracle dancing his way through hordes of attacking zombies. Daddy. Zombies? Yes, but if they were really to attack, he could get hurt. So we told the extras to take it easy when they swarm him. But Miracle got wind of that and blew his stack. He says that the zombies have to attack it like they mean it. Otherwise the action wouldn't feel real. So he's refusing to do it. There's a lot I don't get here. Like, how can a zombie video feel real to begin with? <sighs> Who knows? These westerners, man. They're so crazy. But this is gonna be a surefire hit if it happens. Well, I understand the problem now. What I don't get is how I fit into the picture. You're the man to keep Miracle safe from the zombies, baby! You want me to protect him? Yeah! For the sake of realism, the zombies are gonna go, go all out to attack Miracle. Try to eat him and everything. But we don't. We can't let the Popstar Prince get hurt. That's where you come in, my old friend. Hmm, sounds like a strange gig, but it seems simple enough. Of course, of course. Isn't it just the perfect job for you? Now let's go get the deets from the music video's director. Sure. All we're at Mama's bar. I finally got the man for the job. Oh, it's you, Poppy. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Introducing the powerhouse producer with the biggest brains, bronze, and the shoy in the modern mass media. Here's Kiryu chan! I'm Kazuma Kiryu. Good to meet you. Oh, so you're the famous Mr. Kiryu. I was told you would have an extra uh, extraordinarily cool aura. I see it's true. <laughs> I'm Mr. S I'm Mr. Spinning, or Spining, I don't know. The director. Welcome to our team, Mr. Kiryu. Oh, Mr. Kiryu. I should also introduce you to my PA, Louis. He's on the team too. Or Louis, I don't know. <laughs> Howdy, welcome to the family. Uh. Good to meet you. So, Kitty chan is this blowing your mind or what? I'm sure you know already, but just in case. This man here is none other than the director of the massive worldwide smash hit movie, Indian Jeans. <laughs> India what? You're breaking my nuts here, Kitty chan Are you a hermit? How do you not know this man's films? Sorry. Hey, wait, is Judgment playing in the background? <sighs> Mr. Kiryu, perhaps you're more of a sci-fi guy. Mm -hmm. Oh right, Kiryu-chan, even you have to know this one. A.T. <laughs> you know, the one about the boy who rides with an alien over on a unicycle over the moon? Uh, uh sure, I guess I might have heard about it. <laughs> yeah, see? I knew even you had to know. Mr. Spinning or Spining is an amazing director, right? Kiryu chan, right? So then. Um, yeah, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's no big deal, honestly. Though it was number one at the box office worldwide. Oh. Sure was. 
So, Mr. Spinning, we're spining. With you at the helm of this music video, are we anticipating another worldwide hit? So does Nick. Absolutely. The fans all over the world are waiting for this one. I don't want to waste any more time, but I need to confirm one thing before I describe your uh, mission. Is that okay? Uh. Sure. We're here to film Miracle Johnson's latest music video. Do you understand what that means? The whole world is going to be watching. Clever boy, but that's only half of it. The full answer is that this has to be the most exciting music video ever made. Failure to achieve it that is unacceptable. Oh. No fails here. Yeah! Wow, that's heavy. You have to hand it to Hollywood. They work on a scale that we can only dream of. Don't you agree, Kiryu chan uh, uh, yeah. It's huge. Oh. Good. I'm glad you got the picture. Hey. hey guys, Mr. Johnson is ready to enter the room. Oh good. Sounds like Miracle Johnson is about to join us. Let me introduce you to him. Hey, come on in, Miracle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, it's... <laughs> hey. hey Miracle, looking rad as ever. You know it is spinning. I was born cool. Born to do it. Yeah! Hey man. Hey man. You my partner? No. Eh? Chidori chan, what are you saying? Of course you're partners. Oh, that's right. Miracle? That's Mr. Kiryu, your partner today. He's a little shy. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. No problem. I heard about Japanese people being shy. So that's just human nature. It's all good. I'm Kiryu. Glad to meet you. Oh. <laughs> he got the moves though. If you haven't um, figured it out, this is Michael Jackson. <laughs> and I'm Miracle Johnson. Nice to meet you. Uh. Yeah, likewise. Hey man. Hey man. Have they told you about the mission, Mr. Kiryu? Yeah. A little, but I don't get it. I could use some more info. Okay, since you're all here, I'll explain what's happening. The setting is here. Kamurocho, one of Asia's... No, one of the world's premier entertainment districts. Zombie hordes suddenly emerge and attack Miracle on the street. Miracle evades the attacking swarm and dances his way through the land of the rising sun. The very picture of cool. It's a tableau truly befitting of our pop star prince. It's gonna be funky, yeah! Woo! Woo! Hey, so why zombies? I still don't get what's going on. Apparently they're really into that sort of thing overseas. I mean, if a big Hollywood director is behind it, it's gotta, it's gotta be a new trend, I think. I think this city's fabulous. It always glitters and shines. I love it here. Kamurocho is like an amusement park. Yes, and once the stage is set for a close encounter of the undead kind, Miracle will spin and weave his magic dance. Hey. Mr. Kiryu, this is where you come in. Your job is to escort Miracle and protect him from the walking dead. I told the extras playing zombies to attack me like they mean it. If the danger's not real, the thrill isn't either. I tried to stop him, but if the pop star prince were to injured on set, the whole world would be screaming my name uh, for my name for my head on a stake. That'd be really bad. Not. Who's bad? No. No, spinning. I told you how serious I am about this. Compromising my artistry would be a betrayal to all my loyal fans. <sighs> ah, miracle. Oh. You're the ultimate entertainer. Yeah. Oh. Oh, stop spinning or spining. That's... Nothing the world doesn't already know. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, Kiryu chan. I feel responsible. Yeah. No, it's alright. I know it's not your fault. So, there you have it. Surely you understand now. What part of that was understandable? Ugh, whatever. Let's just start filming. Yeah, Kiryu! I like that fire! You're gonna rock my world with passion like that! Huh? That's enough. <laughs> That's the spirit, Kiryu. Hold on to that anger and let's roll them! We're going in! Woo! <clears throat> Miracle and Kiryu. Let me explain what you two have to do. Miracle? You unveil your new Miracle Walk Dance. 
Shimmy and shake your way from here to the end of the street. I know you know this, but please try to keep it elegant. Okay. No problem. This dance is gonna bedazzle the world. So does Nick. Yeah. Mr. Kiryu, your job is to protect Miracle from the zombies by whatever means necessary. Uh. Yeah, got it. Ahaha, <laughs> good Kiryu. You're the man. Samurai. Can we get on with this? Alright, escort Miracle Johnson while he dances his way up Tenkaichi Street using his new Miracle Walk technique. Along the way, zombies will appear. You will fail if Miracle takes enough hits. You succeed if he reaches the Ak Akashima restaurant. Okay, so we just have to defend him. It's like the Makoto mission. Oh my gosh, real zombies! Let's do this. Mr. Miracle, sir, I'm a big fan! No, get out of there. Mr. Miracle, Mr. Miracle! No, no, oh gosh. No, get, get, get off of him. Mr. Miracle is... Oh gosh. I'm, I'm moonwalking with him! No, stop it! Oh no! Get out of here! You're not part of the set! Mmm! I'm gonna moonwalk with you, Mr. Miracle. Alright, I got you, sir. Huh. Gotcha! Get out of here, zombie! Mr. Miracle, sir. No! Oh, he defended himself. Nice one, Miracle Johnson. No! Ugh. Maybe it'll be better if I use Rush Style. Come on. Any more zombies? I'm moonwalking with you, sir. Yeah! Oh gosh. Come at me! No! Miracle! No! Get out of here! No one touches Miracle Johnson! Mm. Well, shall we continue, sir? Hold on. Oh yeah, Kiryu with the moonwalk! Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Um, any more zombies? Oh gosh! Surprise attack! No! Get back here! Get off him! No! Ow! Here we go! Get out of here, zombie. Oh, more? Oh, Miracle's doing his work too! Let's go! You and me, the dream team. No! What are you doing? Stop it! My goodness, these freaking zombies, man. Well, let's go, sir. Yeah! I'm feeling so fresh and clean right now. Oh, gay! Look at the sidestep! Oh! Oh gosh, that's bad. No! Stop it! Get out of here! You too! Bye bye! Oh yeah, dance moves. Let's go, sir. Kiryu and Miracle Johnson moonwalking. Oh, what the? Wait, actually, no, 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 no. Boom! Oh, wait. Hasha! Oh, you're donezo! Okay. Nice. No! Here you go, zombie. Uppercut! Hey! Miracle, sir! I got you! We're nearly at ting uh, the restaurant. Yay! How did I do? Excellent! Amazing! Magnificent! 
That was stupendous, Miracle. I can tell you right now that I just shot the greatest music video of all time. This will be the stuff of legends. Spinning or spinning, please. I only did what was expected of me. The real honor goes to Kiryu. He was cooler than ice. Too cool. You are so right. Kiryu, if it weren't for you, this masterpiece would have never happened. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. No need for thanks. Beating down hostile guys seems like my part of my daily routine. Hey, man. Hey, Chidi, how would you like to be my personal bodyguard? You would be like uh, another part of me, man. <laughs> Kiryu, baby, this is it, man. The golden ticket. The pop star prince is recruiting you. <laughs> Babysitting a superstar might be a decent life, but the world is too big a stage for me. Kamurocho is plenty big. Oh, oh how disappointed. I guess I can't deprive Kamurocho of its star. That's the way you make me feel, Kiryu. Kiryu chan. Very well, I'll leave you with a gift then. Hey. hey, zombies, come on! Oh my gosh. Oh, the zombies are moonwalk. Up. Uh. Okay, they're just dancing. Black or white, just tell me. A large black box and a small white box. Black or white, which should I pick? Oh. Um, I'm gonna choose uh, the bigger one. Obviously, the big one should be better, right? Black. Okay. okay, black it is. My gift to you. These... Uh, are you sure? Aren't these expensive? You got silent shoes. Dang, I got some shoes. <laughs> you think money matters to a superstar like me? I guess not. I accept these gratefully then. Thank you! Thank you, Kiddo! You're going to be the camera to king, I can tell. After all, I'm the pop star prince of the world. Hey. Woohoo! Hey, hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't really get your American groove, but it was a thrilling experience all the same. At least I'll know I have to fight zombies again. And if I'm ever back in Japan, I'm gonna look you up, Kiryu. You wouldn't mind, would ya? Uh. I'll think about it. Hey. hey, Miracle, we better get going. The world needs to see what we've got waiting for them. Looks like my time is up. I'll see you around, Kiryu. I got a feeling that this isn't the last time. Uh. Sure, I look forward to it. Well, what a splendid sub-story that was. Miracle Johnson thinks we'll meet again. <laughs> Maybe we will. <laughs> Miracle on Tenkaichi Street. Let's check the radio. Oh! Dose is on. How are you doing everybody? It's showtime! And I just realized that he was dubbing it. As always, we kick off the show with a shout outs to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Come on, Dulce, read the postcard from Judgment, Kazi. Judgment, Kazi kun! <laughs> hello, Dulce Kamiya san. Oh, hello. I love your show, regular listener. Thank you. The other day, I met a young schoolboy who had his RQ3 game stolen from him. Oh no, that game's really popular I hear. It was a high schooler who took the younger kid's game, but then the high schooler had it taken by a punk, who then got it stolen from a Yakuza. Wow! It turned out that the Yakuza was the father of the little boy who had the game stolen originally. I couldn't believe it. Whoa, now there's a twist ending. P.S. Do you play games, those Kamiya-san? Judgment Kazikun, are you making up stories? What are the chances? But if it's true, that's a sad state of affairs where people would steal video games. Did the father give it back to him? I hope everything worked out. As for me, I only play one game. The game of love! Whoa! Oh, it's time already? Too bad. Too sad. But that's our show for today, folks. Alright, make sure to tune in again. Goodbye and see you next time. My postcard. 
That was my radio debut. Alright, I got on air. Mr. President, is something the matter? Uh, uh yeah. I mean, no, it's uh, nothing. Postcard rookie. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy that I got on air. <laughs> Wait, can I write another one? I had a postcard read on the radio one so far. I need to get two more in air to win a deluxe prize worth a million yen. I need to think of another story that's good for radio. Let's write a postcard. What should I write about? It needs to be a topic Dol's Kamiya would want to read on air. Uh... Why not the Yokomichi Silvers? We haven't seen them in a while. I'll write about meeting the Yokomichi Silvers without giving any secrets away. Now let's see. There. Oi. Hey Marina, can you mail this postcard later? Hi. Oh, of course. Are postcards your new hobby? Not exactly. Just don't read it. I won't. Never ever read it. I said I won't! Stop saying that! I hope they choose my postcard. Better tune into Dos Kamiya's radio show next time and check. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> Alright, so I just need to win that uh, radio show like two more times and I can get a million yen. Which isn't really worth much to me since like... Y yeah. B but it would be nice to get some extra cash. Wait, what the heck? Why, why are these guys here? Oh hey, Kiryu baby! Kiryu? Oh, you mean Mr. Kiryu! Well, if it isn't Pop... Papillon Kato and Director Spinning. Or Spining. What are you two doing here? Bling bling ka-ching! We were just talking about you, Kiryu! Talking about me? Yes, you helped us with that music video for Miracle. Now I want to do something for you, Kiryu. You helped me out big time too, so I want to hype up your side gig. Bada bing, bada biz. Uh, what does that mean? We want to help you, Kitty chan Yes, we will put our world class abilities at your disposal. Come on, Kiryu, let's do this thing together. Sh sure, it would be great to get top names like you to help me, like you two to help me. Aren't you really busy with your day jobs though? Oh, don't sweat the deets. We just to work with you, Kitty chan just let us on the gravy chain. Kato has joined our team as a manager. Nice. Oh wow. Okay, so like for one day only he's really good, but for the rest of the days he's kinda bad. Hmm, maybe that'll work out. <laughs> we'll smash box office records together. Manager as well. Uh oh, he seems a lot better. Wow. That's really good. I'm not too sure about this, but oh well. Thanks for your help, guys. Oh. Mm. Mm. Hey, what's the matter? You look upset. Mr. President, I'm disappointed in you. Mm. Huh? Mm. I never thought you were the kind of person who'd go to those kinds of places, Mr. President. Oi. Hey, hold your horses. What the heck are you talking about? Well, just look at this. It's a coupon for an adult shop. Dear valued customer, to show our appreciation for your repeated patronage, we'd like to offer you our services for absolutely free. Please drop by our shop with this postcard to redeem this exclusive offer. Mm. Absolutely free, huh? Wow. What do you mean, wow? You go to these kinds of places so often they're giving you loyalty rewards? Uh, no, th that's not me. Well, at least I've never been to that shop. <sighs> and why'd you get this postcard? And wait, are you saying you've been to other places? I don't know what to think. Yeah. Hey, don't judge. Besides, are you sure it's really addressed to me? You sure it's not for Yamanoi-san? <laughs> Whoa, don't drag me into this. Yeah. No, it's got to be for Yamanoi-san. The sender and the addressee are... Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? It's addressed to me. See? I knew it! But the sender is the Pleasure King. What? 
Does that mean the Pleasure King is challenging you? Uh, most likely, yeah. We've taken over a bunch of the properties in the Pleasure King's territory already. It makes sense. The Pleasure King has gangs of hooligans under his control. You should be careful if you're going to face him. Uh. Right. Thanks for the heads up. This is Dolce Shop is on Senrio Avenue. I'll go check it out. Why not? It's absolutely free, right? Oh, come on. You know that's not why I'm going. Mm, the Pleasure King wants to see me. I should head over to Senrio Avenue. Now where can- oh, I think that's the Pleasure King right there in the pink dress. Wait, I don't want to fight! No! Oh, come on! Are you serious? I was right there! That's what you deserve. Now, don't get in my way. Jeez. Huh. Hmm? Is that? It was so awful. Oh, honey, I know how you feel. I realize it was hard on you, but you know you really can't deny your customer like that. If you quit now, all your hard work will be for nothing. But, but, it'll be okay. Nothing bad will happen. Leave it to me, honey. You trust me, don't you? Hi. Yes, of course. I've never been able to trust anyone else in this business, but I trust you like an older sister. <laughs> then, you do what your big sister says, okay? Just hang in there a little bit more, for me? Okay, thanks for looking out for me. I'll work even harder. Uh-oh, manipulation. <laughs> what a basic beal. Complaining about a customer's little fetish like that. Jaguar Chan? Yes? I think it's about time we offer that little tuna to the usual fish market. To them? Don't you think it might be a bit soon for that? Maybe we should see how things go. If that hussy is getting huffy over a little thing like that, we can't expect them to, we can't expect to make much off her in the future. Besides, she's worked enough to pay back her debt, and then some. She might realize it soon. So now's the time to do it. Understood. <laughs> oh, women are so stupid. And the men who spend big money on them are equally stupid. I suppose in the end, they're all just idiots eating each other out. Hmm? That's... It's me. Oh my, if it isn't Kiryu-chan. You naughty boy, you should have let me know you were here. You look, uh... Handsome as always. So, did you come to have some fun? Our free coupon got your attention, did it? You're a big boy with a healthy appetite after all, Kiryu-chan. No, th that's not it. You're the one who called me here. Eh. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I absolutely forgot about that. Silly me. Eh. Honey, won't you play a little game with me? A game? <laughs> you took on Elysia King in a karaoke battle, right? I want some one-on-one -on -one time with you too. What kind of battle would this be? Mm, let's see. We're all adults here, so we can make it something fun. Ooh, I know. Let's make it a telephone club battle. A telephone club battle? Yeah. Right. If you manage to score a date with a girl within three minutes, you win. How's that, hot stuff? Of course, if you win, you get a slice of my property pie. If you lose, you give me a share of your holdings instead. Oi. How can I trust you? You run these places. Isn't there going to be some kind of catch? Oh. I'm not going to do anything shady. That's the T for truth. A game's no fun if you cheat. Don't you trust me? We use the Telltale Boys Club. I'm not involved in the management there, so the battle will be fair and square. Would that be okay with you? Uh. Sure. That's fine. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay then. Let's do this! Okay, let's get it on, honey. I win if I score a date with a girl in three minutes, right? <laughs> That's right. No shade, but you don't seem like the guy to go to telephone clubs. Do you really think you can pull this off? <laughs> <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover. I've done this a uh, total of two times. Uh, uh, and I failed once. I was on the line at the telephone club. Okay, so basically we need to score a girl within three minutes. Let's do this.
Yep, I got it. I got it, I got it. Come on. Give me someone. Why? Mushy mush. Here we go. Oh no, this again? Oh gosh, uh, you have a lovely, lovely voice. The game's lagging, it's trying to make me lose. You're welcome. Sorry ma'am, I'm just trying to uh... I'm lean and minuscule. I'm lean and musk. Oh gosh! Oh come on, why is it got so thin? No! Oh, I got it! Sorry ma'am, I'm, I'm doing this for my, my telephone club battle. Um, you're just the, in the middle. Pink! Always do the pink one. Bro, I'm skipping this. How about something more personal? Uh, do you worry? Do you work? That's so not fair. Fashion boot. Uh, real, real estate. Real estate. I am a real estate man. Oh, I. Oh, come on. I'm the real estate man of your dreams. Yes. Let's go. Oh, Tachibana Fudosan. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Tachibana. Bet you're popular. Yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing. I'm getting good progress so far. What? There we go. What's your face like? Holy crap, that's a lot of butt. I'm gonna skip that. Can we meet? Can we meet? Let's go. Yay! And I'm skipping this as well. The doors are opening of love, and I won! I freaking won! Let's go! Yeah, beat that, Pleasure King. How's that? I scored a date. <laughs> oh, honey. I should have known you'd get around. You were fabulous. Congratulations. Fabulous? Wait, how do you know how the conversation went? No, no way. Yeah. Yes, way. The caller on the other end was me. How can that be? That voice was completely different. Oh, don't understand. Don't underestimate the pleasure, King. It's easy peasy for me to change up my voice like that. <laughs> wow, but your seduction technique was so fierce. You really turned. I'm never gonna make this mistake again. Oh come on! Don't be so uptight. We had a little fun, and I'll give you a share of my area, as promised. Okay. We gotta share, but I don't know if it was worth it. Oh, 84, it was definitely worth it. I won, but somehow I feel like I lost. Oh dear, you managed to close the gap with me again. I'd better get serious pretty soon. Oh, Jaguar chan. Yes. What? Are you serious? You gotta beat me up? Mm hmm. What? Be a dear and take care of him, would ya? <laughs> hey! You haven't taken advantage of our absolutely free service offer yet, right? This is my present for you, honey. And don't forget, I'm not gonna let you off so easy next time. <laughs> that is, of course, if you manage to survive after dealing with these boys. 
Well then, I hope you enjoy our service. Oi. Hey, wait. Whoa, excuse me, sir. You'll need to deal with us. No substitutions allowed during this promotion. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Enjoy your absolutely free service. Yeah, and you're about to join my free service, which is... Bicycle! Bam! <laughs> Bam! And watch her! Oh, you get it first, Jaguar. I'm, I doubt that's even your real name, but... There you go. Have a bike for free. Those are expensive, you know. And you, Takai, get out of here. And you, get out of here. And that was pretty easy. Ugh. Talk about a rough customer. Sorry about that. Don't worry. I'll never come back to a place like this. And the Pleasure King. He's more tough and cold-blooded than I thought. I'll have to face him in a battle soon. It's not going to be easy. Let me read my... Yes, radio! It's on. As always, we kick off the show with shoutouts to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Come on, Dulce. Read the postcard from Judgment Kazi. No, Koko Komachi kun, that's not Judgment Kazi. Dang it. Oh man. My postcard didn't make the cut. Better luck next time. I can write it again. Aw, oh, that's sad. We need to write another postcard stat. Hmm, let's see what to write about. A lesson, SMM. Uh, we could do the miracle walk. Yeah, let's do that. I'll write about the time. I'll write about helping out with a superstar's video shoot. Now let's see. There. Oi. Hey, Marina. Can you mail this postcard later? Hi. Oh, of course. Our postcards. Oh, yep. Yeah, this is just the same. Huh? Wait. What the? Hey, get out of here! Oh my gosh, I have a 5 star spining or spinning! Let's go! Gotcha! What's the matter? You look upset again. Again, Mr. President? Huh? You have postcards from those adult shops again. In fact, you have two of them this time. Two. I bet they're from the Pleasure King. Dear valued customer, join us this holiday for a Christmas miracle. Our mistress will deck your halls by punishing you in a Santa costume. And of course, you can be the naughty red nosed reindeer. Please drop by and check us out for this special event. We look forward to seeing everyone on the naughty list. Is that a challenge from the Pleasure King? What on earth could he mean by Santa costume? Is that a secret message? Yeah. Hang on. This is addressed to you, Yamanoi-san. What? Oh, is that from where I went the other day? Oh! Oh my gosh, Yamanoi. <laughs> no, it can't be. What? Huh? Yamanoi-san? Uh, um, well, I... Oh, so what? Don't judge me. And what about the other postcard? The other one? is actually from the Pleasure King. The text is the same as the last time. I guess he wants me to go to the same place as before. Mm. Considering the Pleasure King's area is mostly ours now, he must be quite desperate. I bet he'll try to shut us down by force. You'll need to make sure you're ready for anything. Uh. You're right. On the flip side, this is also an opportunity for us to crush them. I'll put an end to this. We're counting on you, Kiryu-san. Please be careful, Mr. President. Uh. Yeah. Yamanoi-san, may I have a word with you later? Sh sure I need to get to Sanrio Avenue to face the Pleasure King. Alrighty, this is where we get to fight the Pleasure King. Here we go. Here we are. I'm guessing we need to fight you, huh? You decide to come, Kiryu-chan. I love a man with courage. It's so... attractive, I guess? 
I'm not here for your sweet talk. Hurry up and tell me what you want. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so hasty, honey. I'll tell you what, Kitty-chan. I'll give you one chance. One chance to pull out of this area right now. If you do, I'll spare your life, and everyone gets a happy ending. And if I don't? Oh, you know what's going to happen. I'll get rid of anyone who gets in my way. If you don't pull out, I will kill you and take it all back. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. But let me say something too. Leave this area now. If you do, I'll let you live. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. Fabulous. And let's settle this, shall we? Hello, Jaguar. I'm sorry, honey. You're all by your lonesome, and I've got my entourage here. But you understand it's because I'm a vulnerable little girl, don't you? I'm sure you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. The muscles you're packing there say any you're anything but. But that's fine. I'll take you all out. Yeah. Oh, you're so manly. If you weren't my enemy, I'd be all over you. Well, I'll give you the Pleasure King's ultimate service. All for absolutely free, honey. Uh... So get ready to take it all in. Oh my goodness, seriously? Right then, let's fight. Come at me. I'll take you out first. I'll take out your freaking henchmen as well. Oh, what the? Hey, stop it. Hold on. What the? What are you doing? Jeez. Chill. Oh my goodness. Everyone's getting up on me. Hang on guys, I spotted a- Oh my- Jeez, chill! Stop with the grabbing! Oh my goodness gracious. You just love to grab people. Can you please stop with the grabbing? Oh my goodness! These guys just love to grab me. Fine, I'll give you present return. Beast style! How's this? Hmm. How do you like beast style now? Man, you guys are annoying. Time to finish you off. Oh, look at the resist though. Get off me. And I'm gonna heal because I'm pretty low. Another bicycle for your face. Bye bye. And you can also take a bicycle. There you go. Where's your buddy? Stop it. Come on, Pleasure King. You know this is how you want to end. Say ya! That was a bad time to taunt, I will admit. Here we go! Oh, body slam! <laughs> oh, that was epic. Bye bye. Come on. Ah. Okay, you wanna grab me? I'll grab you! On the floor. Get out of here. Oh, 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 dodge, dodge. Oh my jeez. He's trying to be clever. Oh, okay, fine. Let's go. And you are done! Oh, what's with all the money, honey? Oh, that rhymed. Guess you're out of business. Complete domination! Yeah. <laughs> I knew the moment I laid my eyes on you. If you weren't my enemy, we could have been lovers. <laughs> if we weren't enemies, we could have been friends, maybe. Friends? Oh, you're such a tease. Like you promised, you need to leave this area. Sure, sure. I did promise after all. 
Besides, now that the people are starting to pick up on some tricks I was turning on the, on the down low, it's time for me to pull out and sash away. Sashay away. I'll start again somewhere else, honey. Some place where no one will get in the way of how I, uh, how I run my runway. Next time, make sure you think about people over profits. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. After all, I don't want someone like you swooping in and snatching away my business again. Honey, are you serious about taking back Kamurocho? Uh, yeah, you bet. Okay, listen, taking me down won't help you rid of the, uh, when you get rid of the five billionaires. A new billionaire will rise to take my place. There are plenty of rich boys ready to get nasty for that chance. So what should I do? You need to find the beef beneath the bulge. The one who's really controlling the five billionaires. Isn't that one of the five? Oh, I'll never tell. I'd be killed if I said too much. I hope you understand if I bite my tongue, honey. Well, no need for me to hang around here much longer. I should really get running. <laughs> here, a present for you. What are you giving me? What's this? My phone number, honey. Call me anytime, Kirito-chan. I don't want it. Oh, you're just being bashful. We're no longer enemies after all. And since we're no longer enemies, I'd be happy to give you some pointers on managing adult entertainment centers. Hmm, that might actually be helpful. Fabulous! Of course, it absolutely won't be for free. <sighs> You're still all business, aren't you? Oh, and my boy Jaguar-chan here. He still wants to work in Kamurocho, so would you mind hiring him? He's such a good boy, he's always eager to please. Uh, mm, that's fine. We need all the help we can get. Thank you very much. The Pleasure King has joined your team as an advisor, and Jaguar has joined your team as security. Ooh, 26 million? Oh my goodness. And Jaguar. See you later, Kirichan. Maybe you can clean up this town a little bit and save it from all the greed and vice. I'll be watching you. I'll want to be watching over you from afar, honey. Do your best. Okay, that was weird. That was the weirdest king so far. So then, who's actually controlling the five billionaires? Looks like this rabbit hole only gets deeper. Looks like it's been unlocked for beast style. Uh oh. It seems the Pleasure King has been, has ta been taken down as well. Indeed. That Kiryu character. I didn't think he'd get this far. What should we do? Shall I take him out now? Yeah. No. Leave him out alone. Leave him alone. We don't know if you're going to be able to beat him either. What? Ouch. My feelings. For once, we've got someone who can give us an interesting challenge. Let's sit back and enjoy this while it lasts. It's also a good opportunity to see what the rest of you are capable of. You understand what I mean, don't you? Certainly. We are merely the hands and feet at your command. Kazuma Kiryu. Well, I guess that's the end. Thank you all so much for watching this video. We t finally took down the Pleasure King. Whew. And I think now next is the Gambling King, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, see, Gambling King. Alright. So next episode, we'll take care of the Gambling King. And then we'll hopefully finish off Kiryu's side business story. And then after that, we're going to move on to Majima's Cabaret Club. So thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.